So I've owned hundreds of companies over the years. And uh, you know, everything from computer companies to manufacturing companies to retail companies to uh, online companies, pretty much everything. And you know, we always sold product, and, but we never really, I've never really been involved in a company that, was, that had a why to it. You know, why did we do what we do? You know, how did we get here? So the only way I can really describe the why is simply by telling you how it all started. You know, I obviously was pretty much broke in 2008, 9, 10. I had lost a major company and was going through bankruptcy. And, and uh, I had uh, uh, went to Clarksville, Tennessee to record a deed in the clerk and master's office. I was actually paid for uh, some taxes in the clerk and master's office and recorded deed in that registered deeds office. And as I was walking out of the clerk and master's office, I saw two elderly men sitting on a bench. And at the time, I knew you know a little bit about real estate. You know, I bought my own house, like most most people have done, but I, I didn't know a lot. And obviously, I didn't want to be a realtor, so um, I didn't know a lot about real estate. Well, anyway, I walked up to these two gentlemen because they were sitting there crying, sitting on a bench. They're 80 years old. Uh, found out later, um, they were uh, two black men. They were identical twins. They the story, they even had fought in World War II. So the story just really got interesting for me as I sit and talked to them for a few minutes. But they were crying. I couldn't figure out why they were crying. And uh, finally, when I got them to quit crying, they started telling me that they had lost their home uh, to a tax sale. Now, I, didn't, I knew that homes were sold at tax sale, but I didn't know a lot of the details about it. Sure didn't know the rules, regulations, and laws like I do now. But as I was sitting there talking to these guys, it, it, it dawned on me that um, they, I was their last hope. I literally had $3,700 in my checking account, and it was gonna take $3,500 to redeem the how or to pay their taxes and get their house back so you know I just after hearing their story and talking to them I was like yeah I, I gotta do something so I hopped in the truck with them the later last things were Scruggs and I hopped in the truck with them and uh, we went to uh, First American Bank and I withdrew $3,500 and some change and went back and paid their taxes and you know, I just thought, you know, I've, I've done a good deed here. You know, this was a good deed, and, you know, I felt compelled to do it, and I felt like it was the right thing to do, and I didn't understand why somebody had, else hadn't done that for them in the past. And I found out that they didn't have any relatives, and anybody that they did have that had already passed away, and they just had no family left. So they never married, didn't have kids. Um, it's actually kind of sad that we have people in America that are, you know, elderly and that are literally have nobody around them to help them in a time of crisis, especially this house was paid off. So I paid that $3,500. I didn't really want anything in return. Uh, I was turning to walk off and uh, one of the Scruggs um, called my name and asked me to turn, you know, come back and I came back over and he said, look, you know, we don't have any family. We don't have any relatives. We, we can't, we can't keep up the house. We can't pay the taxes, the insurance. Um, we can barely own a fixed income. We can barely afford um, electricity. So we want you to have the house. And I was like, no, 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 no. I didn't do this to get your house. I've done this because you needed help and there was somebody else here to help you. So, I, so my why behind Resolve Suite started right then and there. Um, it dawned on me that there was a lot of people in this situation. So, so to finish the story, they ended up giving me the property. They lived for about another two and a half, three years, lived out their lives in the house. I owned the house, uh, kept the taxes and insurance on it. Uh, when they passed away, the house was mine. Uh, it technically was mine three years before that, but um, through their gift. So, uh, yeah, I did, again, this was a one single moment in time. And at a time where I was really looking for, you know, why am I here? You know, why did I go through all this experience? Why did I go through all this pain and anguish? You know, why am I here? So this happened, and um, about three or four weeks after it happened, I called that the same clerk and master. I said, hey, how often does this happen? And she informed me that it happens every day. So I was like, oh, you know, how heartbreaking. So that's when, that was the beginning of Resolve Suite. It made me realize that there was a huge need for people who are truly on their last phone call. I mean, this I'm their last phone call. Resolve Suite's their last phone call before they lose what they've got or have already lost it. And it really saddens me because, you know, these are elderly people. In most cases, they're elderly people. In a lot of cases, they're single. Uh, one, has, or one or the other has passed away, and they were on fixed incomes prior to that, and then one of those incomes is left, now they're on a single income. and so. It just, it, it just filled my heart that not only could I make money, but simultaneously I could help people that were in really, truly tragic situations.
and, and the fact that our, our, even our own government isn't doing anything to help these people, which is really saddens me. We help people that we shouldn't be helping, and then we don't help people that have earned their living and worked their entire lives uh, to become, to have a paid for home and just want to finish their lives in their homes, but don't have that opportunity. So that's when it dawned on me that, hey, I, I need to dive into this deeper. So I spent almost eight years uh, studying the system and finding a way to perfect the system. And so I resolved what was born was through a kind act that uh, uh, turned out to be a, a remarkable opportunity, not only for me, but the people to live out the rest of their lives. And I still have their, I mean, I still have their, you know, their flags from when they were in World War II. They're upstairs in my attic. Um, I, I store stuff up there, you know, memorabilia from these folks that, uh, you know, either they pass away after I buy their home, they pass away, you know, or um, they give me this stuff, um, you know, when they go to nursing homes or whatever. So it, it, it resolves sweet. Um, it, 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 it draws at your heartstrings. I mean, I, every salesperson that's ever been in the system has said the exact same thing. Uh, I've always told them, hey, look, when you get involved in this, you're going to think it's just for the money. And I'm going to tell you, you make so much money at this that you get lost sometimes in making money and you forget why you're doing it. But I tell all the salespeople that you're going to eventually run into a situation where somebody's going to rip your heart out uh, because of what they're going through. And you literally are their last phone call. So that's how it all began. And, uh, and I'm really proud of the software that we've developed. You know, we now have an intricate software that goes into these various different clerks and masters, has algorithms that goes in and, and uh, it extracts out people that are in distress, either before or after. Uh, we contact those people and we negotiate deals with them. And most always, always, if there is an elderly person or somebody that's in a handicapped situation, um, that's when our wine really shows up because we make sure they stay in the home if they choose to or make sure they get adequate amount of money out of the home um, to make sure that uh, they can live out their lives in some peace.